Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I had problems. I tried uploading a video at 5 a.m. this morning uh, of the last UFO video I uploaded, and of course, it just didn't want to upload. I tend to think it might not be YouTube. It might be because the videos are so slowed down, and it's quite complex. I always have problems when I upload YouTube videos. What are we looking at? We're looking at the surface of the moon, and we're talking today a little bit about what is to come in 2018. 2018, they're talking about the base. But then I heard 2022, some other project on the moon. But we know between 2018 and 2022, um, humans are supposed to go build a base on the moon. See, lava tubes, the whole moon my friends, the entire moon, look at these structures, okay? These are symmetrical structures. Don't tell me they're not hidden symmetrical structures. Is it not the perfect, perfect area? This is what NASA wants to uh, make the basin, a lava tube, which would also be protected by asteroids hitting, um, I don't know how, but it should be solid. It's compressed, it was heated up. Well, it's what it looks like. But let me tell you, <laughs> they go in and out of the ground. They're completely covered. This would be a perfect, perfect base. But I tend to think um, the aliens are walking around in them, that that's how they're getting through the entire moon. You know what the moon looks like? You know, only the ones that have seen these are going to laugh and relate. You know the 1960s lamps? Um, all plastic, uh, it was all plastic and it's just leaked plastic that was all compressed in this mixed up jumble that made a round light. And you, when you lit it up, it was orange or green and it had all these colors. This is what the moon looks like. It, it looks like, uh, it looks like um, there are lava tubes throughout the entire moon. It must be very, very solid. Uh, the outside core, I don't know, it, it looks like it was leaked there and uh most often you look and you see structuring and um my goodness there there are geometrical shapes so yes the ideal that nasa says it's going to do guys so long me just so long me because this is fascinating that they said this to make bases in the lava tubes i can't believe they said that you know why because i've been looking at this for a year and a half these tubes do you understand it's really impressing me that they're actually going to do um, structuring a base inside what I believe are alien structures. That is fascinating. I started posting all these things online, doing my research a whole year's time, and then after a year's time, no one believes me. Here's the thing, when I show it to you close like this, it seems to be bothering many of you that you see the straight lines that go through the entire photo. Well that's just simply because I'm over excessively zoomed up close to show you these shots. So just take the advantage of looking what's on the surface of the shot and not having, um, uh, how can I say, 
a view of this without the lines in it. Why are we seeing the lines? It's because these objects are very small and these should be greatly appreciated because if not, no one would have seen these structures. Now let me talk to you in great detail about what we were seeing on this picture and you guys can examine, pause it for yourself, use magnifying glass, which is extremely good to be able to see what I'm trying to talk to you about. This object or installation that you guys are seeing here that looks like one square object has 50 or 60 different angles, perfectly symmetrical, has a flat floor surface, entrances, tunnels, everything is here and clear to see what people will have a problem by understanding that, that this object is there. And look, eh? I, I know some of you are really going to be pissed off that I'm showing this, but look, look at the nice landing strip and or connections coming down here, going down there, intricately, very detailed city and um, very symmetrical, organized surface of the moon, just like here on Earth or any other planet. Okay, so you're looking at possibly the only city structure ever shown to the world, entirely to the world. Um, these are surface structures. I'm also going to zoom out to show you where the structures are. I'm going to show you 3,000 craters around where this city is. I'm not hiding it. Take notice of it. I've posted this before. This is just my best work it's the best find it's there uh, looks like glass looks like basalt uh, I don't know what it is but there it is bottom left and you'll see it in uh, more detail a bit as we for often see platforms like my sinus iridum city video you can see what looks like platforms like this is my belief you know um, I'm not accusing anyone of uh having not seen anything up there i mean who knows maybe it's to, you know maybe they don't have my technique here it is guys see the moon southern highlands clavius crater on the bottom left there and where my finger is boom there is the glass city and look oh what did i just do for you guys i zoomed right up into the photo and we can still see the city i know some of you wanted me to do this to prove it so I showed you where the city was. I showed you where the structures are. Look at the walls. It's all there. Beautiful, beautiful um, cities inside the craters. And look here. There you go. It doesn't end. And when you look properly and you get a nice shot. And listen, guys, this is a pretty close shot, by the way. Bridges. Construction over white on white. We could see it there. As we're coming down, listen, hear me out. My theory, my hypothesis on this, a giant mountain of lava that was carved out into a city. What do you want this to be? It is clear structures that has the same outline, outline sorry, and brightness as what the world and scientists declare being ejecta. These are the website contributors, the ones who have raised over $10,000, 10,050 to be exact. Thanks guys, I love you for it. The telescope, the minute I get any news about the tracking, I'll be letting you know. Please take the time to check out my brother, Steve Olson at WSO YouTube channel. Steve, thanks for interacting with me. Check out what Steve's finding up in the skies and check out to see who he's interacting with.